Hello everyone in this video, let us talk about uh, custom REST endpoints using uh, script runner for Jira. So I have been uh, receiving a lot of questions uh, related to the REST endpoints and uh, this is also related to the video series that I made recently on uh, a REST API using Jira's REST API. But when it comes to the REST API, it has, of course, uh, some limitations. You cannot really do each and everything. So you have the REST API, Jira's REST API, and you also have Java uh, API. So when you're working with the script runner for Jira, when you are, let us say, uh, uh, creating your own app or add-on, you can use both the REST API, Jira REST API, and, and you can also use the Java API. However, there could be a case when you want to maybe perform some integration with some other tool or maybe you're trying to do something uh, uh, in Jira that you want to trigger from a different tool, maybe you're using a, a custom REST endpoint, but you also want to add some more business logic. For example, Using the REST API in uh, Jira, you can do, of course, a lot of things. You can, let us say, create a, create a new issue, or maybe you want to uh, also, um, let us say, perform some user management. You may want to maybe migrate the data. Maybe you want to pull out the information from Jira. Uh, so you can do all that, but uh, with the help of Script Runner, you can actually write your own endpoint, your own very own endpoint. And using that particular endpoint, you can uh, write your own script that will execute and that will do the processing of your of, of your data or maybe whatever additional business logic that you want to add. Now to start using the REST endpoints using a script runner for Jira to define your own REST endpoints, I recommend you to take a look at this example here. So if you go to the uh, official documentation, you have this really good uh, example here that you can uh, just copy and paste in your Jira instance and it will give you an idea about uh, how to basically define your own endpoint. And it is very simple. You uh, can define an endpoint like do something. And uh, once you define this endpoint, you have, of course, uh, the option to uh, do some processing. You can run your own code and you can do a lot of wonderful things if you want. And to call this endpoint, you can uh, simply use this uh, URL, which is a REST script runner, latest custom and do something. So do something is of course the resource that you have defined in your code and that is it. So it is very simple. Uh, so there's not re really a lot different than uh, your normal uh, Groovy scripts that you write in uh, uh, Jira's uh, console. Of course, not Jira's console, but script runner's console, but uh, uh, Defining a new REST endpoint is very simple. Of course, you can add, you can also add a few permission checks on top of it just to make it uh, a bit uh, secure. But this example is all you need to get started. I will definitely create more videos on uh, uh, some more examples using uh, custom REST endpoints. And I will try to uh, give you some use cases where this can also be helpful in your environment or maybe in your organization. If you look at this page, they also have this example where they are trying to uh, create a new priority object, which I believe is not possible using the REST API. Of course, you can do it using Java API, but to, to do it remotely, you can define your own custom endpoint, which is nothing but uh, in this case, uh, pri priority. And that is it. So it is something very simple that you can do with uh, Script Runner. And uh, I promise I will definitely make more videos on this topic. So this is all I wanted to share in this video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today. Thank you very much.